this deck that we're going to be playing first uh, is uh, Villigant. And the reason it's Villigant is because of two cards. Uh, you've got Vivillion and Lilligant. Now, Lilligant is a card that I have seen people play, but it never really took over. And I was kind of curious as to why. It seems pretty powerful. Um, the one downside of this card is that despite being a V-Star, it only does 130 damage. But if you return an energy to your hand with it, it does 230 damage. So that's actually not that bad. That's pretty powerful, what you could kind of expect from a V-Star card. Um, and it's got the downside of having to put an energy card in your hand, which what that actually translates to is that means that is your energy for the turn. You can't just sit there and do this while you're building up something else. So if you're going to be doing this, it needs to be what you're doing. I realize I just said that like three different ways, but I hope you follow what I'm saying. Uh, and Star Perfume. During your turn, you may search your deck for up to five in any combination of Grass Energy and Grass Pokemon. Reveal them and put them in your hand. So how are we going to make this work best? So the reason I decided to pair this with Vivillion is because Vivillion can evolve immediately all the way up to its stage two. So if we were to use Lilligant to pull a bunch of these into our hand, we could actually evolve them right away. Vivillion also doesn't need a whole lot of energy. One or two at most. Uh, so we can have this on our bench, have it ready to go, without wasting our turn uh, powering up Lilligan, if that makes sense. So we're going to try and, and utilize this as best we can. I've got Squawkabillies in here because I'm a sucker for Squawkabilly these days if we're not playing a rare candy deck where you don't really want to be ditching stuff. Squawkabilly might be a little hard to swing sometimes. Uh, if we start with a bunch of evolution cards that we want, we don't really want to have a Squawkabilly. But Squawkabilly also doesn't really mind this deck as much because if we have Vivillion or Spupa, we could just evolve them. Right, like it, we're not going to be ditching our hands so much as just evolving quickly. So that's kind of the point of this deck. We're going to see if we can snag some wins quickly out from under people. Uh, nobody ever expects, expects the grass deck, well, because they're not that good, but we're going to make it good. Let's turn on some music and get going here. Start with you, Oregon, I should say. With, uh, this one. All right, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, the, the start of the stream hydration. I appreciate you. Back you up on that one, too. Enjoy your lurk, Icy. Thank you for being here, my friend. Okay. Now, we do still want to go second because we're playing with supporters and, and not Pokestops, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Yeah, that's good for us, actually. Well, that's not. Off to a rip roaring start. All right. How's the music here? It's a little loud, I think. Right? It's a little loud. We're going to turn that down. And that's better. All right. Well, at least we only had a mulligan once. And we do get to start with a Lilligan and a Squawkabilly. So we're going to put Squawkabilly out. Now, actually, this is kind of interesting. Since we have Professor's Research, Lilligant is less useful. Lilligant has a good thing that we can do with it first turn, but we're going to go ahead and wait on that. Um, Lilligant can draw until you have six cards in hand, so if we don't have a Squawk ability, we can still draw some cards, right? Not the worst thing in the world. Okay, up against Psychic off the bat. Not bad, not bad. At least we don't have any weaknesses to this one. Let's see if we can make it work. Got opponent, what you up to over there? I see you. I see you. Like we're seeing double chat. Okay, they're building up the one on the bench. Curious. Very curious. Now, that's actually an unfortunate one to draw uh, first here. Let's play out a couple of Lilligans. We're going to use Professor's Research before we use Squawkabilly, because otherwise we'd have to just Professor's Research, and then that would be the big sad. Alright, let's do that. Now, we're not going to Squawkabilly this turn. Um, 
because we don't have a stupa. We don't have a way to get the scatterbug. We don't want to ditch another pavilion here. Um, Arvin's solid. The pokey gears are solid, but we keep those this turn. So let's just squawk and seize and see what happens. I used the wrong button. I said I wasn't gonna do that. Wiggles, you're a foolish fool sometimes. Whoopsie. Oh well, it's fine. Wake it up. First game of the day. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Okay, so we're gonna put these on a Lilligant because we don't actually know if we have another pavilion in the deck. It might the third one might be in the prize cards. Pretty sure there's three. Okay, so these are probably going to turn into Calyrex V Maxes, which is bad. Two of those means they're going to. Three of those means they're going to be powering up pretty hard here. All right. All right, so that's V Energy they get to cheese in this turn. They put them all on this one. But. Uh, if Squawkabilly's going to die? They're not putting them all on this one. They're putting them on this one, which is. Strange, but you know, whatever. Okay, they didn't do that right because they should have used this one to use the ability to put that on there. Maybe they have a reason. Perhaps. Okay. Right. So let's see if we can get a... No, we cannot. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, hmm. Okay, let's use the worker here. Gardenia's Vigor is actually pretty nice for us. Let's use the ability this turn. See what's in our deck that we can get. There, okay, there is one more pavilion. That's nice. Grab another pavilion. Star and then some more energies. There. Level that up. Here, put that one up front there. Put that there. Okay. Now, okay, so does 230 do it? Uh, no. It gets it up to 350. So we're going to do it anyways because if they knock this out, we want to have this energy in our hand. Uh, that's one of the other benefits here, is we get to not have to invest as much energy. An opponent doesn't know this. Our hand might look really impressive as seven cards right now, but it's, you know, not. <laughs> I didn't mean to ditch those cards, but here we are. Alright, th this isn't bad. This isn't bad. It does give them another chance to use the Calyrex uh, ability up front. They didn't use it last time, so it's going to be a wash if they use it this time or not. It's the one they would have used last time. And, you know... There's not many things without being super effective that can just do 300 damage, which is what we would have needed to do to this. So, I'm actually not unhappy with this. Alirex V Max is worth, well, three prize cards because it's a V Max. So, that's pretty nice too. And in the event that they force something, okay. They're really going all in on that one. Just, I mean, that's totally fine. It's understandable. It's powerful based off of how that doesn't work on that. It's not a basic Pokemon. Interesting decision by the opponent. Uh, okay. So we're going to 100% sacrifice this Lilligant here. Uh, let's use Gardenia's Vigor. We're going to put both of these on this other Lilligant. Okay, so let's count damage here. So it's 30 times 5, so 150 plus 10, so 160. So they're pretty far from getting to do this. We're, we're going to not pull the energy off this turn, because I actually kind of want to put the energy in the next turn on a different card. And we're going to knock it out anyways. Three prize cards, please. Okay. Okay. If this matters. No, 
Now, one of the, like I said, the nice thing about Pavilion here is that we don't actually really need to invest energy on it while it's on the bench, because when it comes off the bench, if we can put one energy on it, we can do Miracle Powder, which is what we're here for, which is, with the Blunder Policy, it's either 50 damage and draw three cards, or 50 damage in whatever special condition we want. Paralysis. Okay. Interesting. Already did that once. Any more V Pokemon are in your deck? Just the one, okay. Is there a supporter card for that? That's fine with us. Now, okay, what we don't really want to have happen here is do a bunch of damage to this Calyrex and then have them switch it out and pull Dedenne up front. Uh, if we can do this without doing any damage to the Calyrex, that's fine. We don't want to have damage on something on the bench for Dedenne. 170 max, okay, okay. Opponent's playing with some lower power level stuff too, which, that's fine. Not sure if it matters yet. It might. It might. Okay, Mimic you cares about, uh, prevent all damage, okay. To this Pokemon, okay, so we just need to keep our boss's orders, basically. This is worth two prize cards. Uh, so if they switch in the Mimikyu, we're in a little bit of trouble. Actually, we're not, because we have Pavilion, and Pavilion can do enough damage. If we poison it, Pavilion will just... or burn it, Pavilion will just kill him. That should be okay. 20's a lot, and that was rude, opponent. That's a good draw, too. Um, hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to put this energy... We're actually going to use the escape rope first. Make them decide what they want to sacrifice, because we're going to knock something out here. I think this game's locked up, I think. Okay, so Mimikyu is an interesting choice from the opponent. We do this. gonna play either of these supporters uh we might as well play the arvin for a switch because yeah we might need that yeah so hopefully we hit heads here and we get to burn it if we do it's dead unfortunate but it's still up front when they don't really want it to be that's fine with us Now, one thing that is a little scary here, they now have the ability... Well, no, they don't, because this has to be active Pokemon. Never mind. You'd have to play some very specific supporter cards here. We need to get this Spupa down fast and have an energy on it, so that if they... If they try to stonewall us with this Mimikyu, we have a, something that can hit it, basically. They pull the Lilligant out front, and then switch the Dedenne. The Lilligant does die, but we get to take out that Dedenne in response, so... Not the worst thing in the world. And this means Pavilion survives, which is good, because Pavilion's how we take care of the Mimikyu. So, still, still balancing here. We're, we're on top of some rocky ground, but we're still doing alright. Definitely still feels like we're ahead. Opponents trying to claw their way out. Okay. They had that. Diversify a little bit. Okay, okay. What 
What move will you be doing, my friend? If they don't do anything and they leave this Mimikyu out, we're just gonna switch and take out this Mimikyu. Because we don't really care if they knock Pavilion out in response. Okay. Comes the escape rope. I think, I think we sacrificed Squawk Ability here. We don't really care about the Squawk Ability, and if they want to knock it out, we'll take something out in response kind of thing. We've got, we're ahead on several prize cards here, so it's not a big deal. Doesn't feel like we need to be careful about Squawk Ability giving him two prize cards. This is one of those situations where Lilligant being a V-Star as opposed to a V-Max is a big deal for us. Like, that's really good for us. Okay, as anticipated. Two, this is going to be another two, but we're going to get one from them. Put this out. Let's use the ball here. Bitch, we don't need these other two. Um, better bug. Okay, so the energy that we're going to play is going to go on this Spupa. So now every one of them is one energy away from being done, being good and ready to go. It doesn't really matter, but just in case. Okay, we're going to take out Dedene here. Back into our hand. Come on, that is worth two prize cards. Because of this boss's orders, as long as they don't shuffle our hand away or something like that, we're still in a pretty good spot here. Because um, we only need one more prize card. And they have Mimikyu and they've got Greninja. Okay, here comes a big hit. Nice, nice. We'll drive safe, my love. Opponent has had a at least one Calyrex VMAX every single turn, and we're still beating them at card. Like in card draw. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. And again, that's because I messed up. <laughs> Please don't play an Iono. Or a Judge. Arnie's not standard legal, so we don't have to worry about Marnie. But please don't play one of those two. Avery is just fine, actually. Four. Ha 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 ha. Giovanni's gonna save the day. Nah, 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 nah. Interesting. A lot of damage, opponent. That's a lot of damage. A lot of damage, y'all. Here. Uh... Okay, game is just waking up. 
Hey, you come back here real quick. I have a question. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Ha! Ah, got him. All right. So that's what the deck's trying to do. Uh, ta-da! <laughs> How can we do it consistently? That's the second question. Get V Star. Seems powerful. Seems powerful. My coins and my crystals, please. Level 45. Five more levels to go and a week to do it. We can do that. We can do that just fine. Begin. All right. <gasps> oh, my God, look, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Don't worry. All right. At least, hey, that's an adorable card. We'll take that. Oh, we can finally see the end too. All right. Uh, back in we go. The villains, y'all. The villains. Elegance. The villain elegance. Elegance. Am I ready to blast off? Not quite. Not yet. I think Team Rocket has parachutes, or they just like hit the ground and they're cool with it. Always wondered that. I'm sure there's some. You're a monster. <laughs> I'm sure there's some like obscure show or something. Welcome back, I see. Okay, so like. We could do Squawkabilly. Or we could do the less optimal play that's gonna look really cool. Right? Like we get to go second and we get to just start hitting with a fully evolved pavilion. Let's see, let's see. Little time check can work. Ah, no worries, no worries. Hope everything's going good. Okay, so this is the Raticate, uh, Blood Sire thing. So, uh, huh, now we're definitely gonna do it because if they don't play another Rattata out, it looks like they're already going to invest on this one. This is gonna be fun. Uh, oh, that's a good draw. Okay, so let's play that. Let's play that. Pokey gear here. Irvin's an... Game. Game. I want the Irvin. Are you kidding me, Dick? Alright, alright. We'll do a professor's research, because... Uh... Going to Ultra Ball these two energies away. I don't know what is going on with... That uh, plunder policy. Dang it, Bobby! Could not agree more. I see. Okay, we got. Th oh, oh no! Oh, it's nasty, y'all. Sure, why not? Here. This here. Walk and seize. This is so You're good. A monster. This is so good. I'll be a monster all you want. That was so good. Uh oh, and you're weak to grass because you're dark. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, we got the heads finally that we didn't really want. It's okay. You get to be poisoned. How do you like it? Rattata? Bird? That wasn't Joey's Rattata. You 
weak to oh you're weak to fighting darn <laughs> ah, they had the radicate too <laughs> oh, lol. Unnecessary and rude. Both. Both. Was a really quick one turn like slap though, y'all. I'm I'm impressed with this deck already. Hmm. Evolve hmm? that before we forget. So the question becomes, do we want to professors research this? I don't think so. Um, I think what we want to do here. Our perf probably should go ahead and use it. So let's grab a spupa. Let's grab two Lilligant V stars, or one Lilligant V star, one spupa. Couple energies. We're gonna bug buzz here. I don't want to draw extra cards if we don't have to, and we really want to kill this Claude Sire. Because their deck's whole strategy is about having Claude Sire on the bench, poisoning things, and having Raticate come up and finish them off, or give them down, do enough damage that the poison kills them. That's the point of their deck, so if we can prevent that from happening, we're in a good spot. The downside is this is pretty invested. Yeah, they might just retreat this here. If they do, that would be a bad idea, actually. Now, okay... So, they have to flip a coin here. Oof, okay. So, they're going to be able to knock out Pavilion, which is... It's unfortunate that I put the extra energy here. We're going to use the other Pavilion, though. Um, it kind of depends what they, what they get here. Okay, they got heads. That's brutal. Uh, heads for them is really good. <laughs> that means they can do the, do the attack next turn again. This because we don't have hard to do. Play to make here. Gardenia, please. Neither of those are a Gardenia deck. We're going to use the escape rope here. You have enough energy in the bin that Squawkabilly is worth it to use here. Uh, and they don't want... Like, this can attack next turn, right? They got the heads that they wanted. Well, surprise. We need to get a Lilligant V going. Motivate. They get their card draw, which is good for them. So if they want to poison here, they can. That's three of their eradicates, right? Yeah, okay. So with the one on the board, that's three. Poison. Now we're just going to retreat the Squawk Billy. It did what it was supposed to do. It got us uh, our extra energy. 
And we get to retreat for free because of their beach court. Thanks, opponent. That was very nice. Uh, hmm. Do we want Professor's Research? Probably not. Probably not. We're, I mean, a Gardenia would be nice, but we're in the driver's seat right now. So we're just going to keep driving. Two extra damage. Okay, so they're all in on drawing uh, a double colorless and a Rick, their last Raticate. Or a way to get that last Raticate. If it's not in their prize cards. Could be in their prize cards. At which point, GG. Well played. Now, of course, like a worst case scenario kind of situation here would be really bad for us. Like if they can evolve this, put the double colorless on it, poison, they could take out our Lilligan just like in the blink of an eye if they get really lucky. Hopefully they do not get that lucky. I think they just shuffled in their Raticates, right? Yeah, they shuffled in two Raticates. Okay, Ionos. Honestly, that's fine. I didn't really like this card. <laughs> that's better. Actually, that's a lot better. There's another Rattata, I'm assuming. Possibly a Wooper? No, that's another Rattata. Okay, so that's... We're still in the driver's seat. They're choosing to prioritize protecting this one. We're going to boss's orders this to the front and knock it out, though. Um, because now. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. We're going to be having to deal with poison anyways. We're not going to also let them do what they're going to be doing here. So what do we power up here? I think it's going to be this pavilion. Actually, no, it's going to be this other Lilligant because uh, Squawkabilly can go and do its thing again, right? We still got enough energy. All right. Two. Come here, please. I am going to take the energy from my hand this turn. It's a lot more likely that they'll be able to do the eradicate thing. And I, we're a little short on energy right now, so I want that energy in my hand. We do have to slog through this, though, because it's just one per turn. One prize card per turn. However, very unlikely that they can evolve this and put three energy on it. If they're playing reversal energy, they could do it. But uh, I'm not sure how likely that is. Okay, so here comes the eradicate part. And they still have five draws towards the reversal energy. Did they get it? They're not slamming it down, so I assume not. Checked it again. Understandable. Ooh, gold dark patch. Nice. Do we have any more Giovannis? We do have one more Giovanni in the deck. It might be a prize card, but it might be in the deck. Their Claud Sire, I'm assuming. This is good for us because when they're playing with things like Super Rods, them using their Ultra Balls ahead of time is nice. Uh, like, that didn't really get them anything they need here, right? I guess they can do it again. <laughs> sure, sure. Because of the Beach Court, they can do it again. That's actually useless. Waiting. For now. Uh, hmm. We have time to set up here. I think we do. Should we, is the question. We could either switch in Squawkabilly so we stop being poisoned, slap the Mew around a little bit. They still have two Mews, so it doesn't really matter. Let's do that. Let's try and be as clever here as we can. Um, which means we're going to put this energy here. There, and we're going to motivate. Uh, let's Arvin for another switch just because we can. 
not do that. Let's Arvin for a Poke here, because we might need that Giovanni. Motivate. So now we have two Lilligant V-Stars set up and ready to go. That's that's nice. That's real that feels nice. Yeah? Okay. We're kind of banking on here is that they don't really have a lot of cards left in their deck so yeah they're getting to look at a bunch of cards but well they're also only through two of their double colorless it's possible that two of them are in this but it's very likely that one of them is still over here What you got? Okay. So they can knock out... Yeah, they're going to knock out Squawkabilly here. Whatever. They're not going to knock out Squawkabilly here. Whatever. All right. Um. Dear deck, can I have a Giovanni? Thanks, deck. one out. Hey, you. The face. Here, because we can. No need to do extra damage. 260 anyways. And they don't have another Raticate ready to go. Hey, another Scatterbug. So that's three and three. So they've got one of each left in their deck. Um, at a certain point, the Cloud Sire is going to come out and try to fight, which is fine because we can do 260 damage, just or 230, and it's you know, it has 110, so yay. When it's digging, they're digging. There another Rattata in their deck. Yeah, it's not. It's in their prize cards. Game is over. Game has been over, but game is now officially over. And it was honestly thanks to their beach court. <laughs> okay, so they're trying to get another Claude Sire going here. Which would be more problematic, for sure. But 200 damage doesn't kill a Lilligan. Yeah, so... Okay, alright. That was a harder fought game. And that was still, again, really powerful. And we get to start off on such a fast foot because of uh, Pavilion. I like this deck. Alright. See what else. See if we can do it again. What else we got? I do splash. Do you splash? Oh, he does. After you, friend. Splash away, splashy. Thought about making a deck out of just scatterbugs and pavilions, but I think that's a little too. Uh, I don't know. It's it's not good enough, right? It needs some some beefy support. Like the pavilions were not going to win us that last game. They did fine, but it was the Lilligans that actually won. So ultimately, my thoughts on that one. All right, Shine Pal. Let's see if we can beat the Shine Pal deck. They're off to a good start, too, because Shine Pao and Greninja off the get-go. But, notably, 
Lilligant can do 230 damage, so Lilligant can one-shot a giant power. Depends what we draw here. Uh, okay, let's see what we get. Not gonna draw that. Because we're not gonna use this one either. We're gonna ditch it. Um, we need to get... Squawkability. We could get a Lilligant here, but that's not really gonna win us this game. Um, the Squawkability might, so that's why we're gonna do that. We use the switch first, because we're gonna be ditching two energies. I think so. I think we're gonna try and slow play this a little bit. If it was only one energy, I'd leave the pavilion out front, or the, uh, Yupa. This here. This. Sucks, but we're gonna ditch these two cards. Lilligant. Play the Lilligant so we can motivate the Lilligant. Motivate! Motivate! Okay. Even if they destroy Squawkabilly this turn, it did its job. <laughs> as long as they don't make us shuffle this uh, Lilligant V-Star, and even if they do, we're going to draw more cards than the one, so we're going to be fine. And if they don't, we can play this, we can grab energy with it, we can grab whatever we want with it, and, uh, yeah, off to the races. Okay. So if they had a Frigidbax in play, I'd be terrified of the Sarita, but they don't. So... And they can't evolve at this turn, even if they had a Rare Candy in hand, they can't do it. Vivarel seems kind of weird with the Chine Pow back Scalibur deck, because they were going to have a lot of cards in hand. What's up, President Clinton? It's going pretty good. How about yourself, my friend? Okay, do they try to take out Squawkability here? They really should. If they don't, we're going to punish that. Because as we saw last game, the ability to keep using Squawkability to draw more for our Luligans is really powerful. Is it another Chine Power or is it the Palkia? Oh, that was unexpected. Okay. Oh, no, I'm a little scared now. A little bit. I'm glad you're doing good. Always a good day when people are doing good, right? That, it's always a good day when you learn something, too. That's important. The day you stop learning, chat, that's the day you die. Don't, don't do it. Even if all you learn is, wow, when I add two more seconds to my microwave popcorn, it comes out even better. Not that I learned that today. I'm just saying. Okay, so they got another Orida, which means that, yeah, what we feared is coming to pass. But they also didn't do the move, so we get to save Squawkabilly. Yay! Star Perfume. Um, let's see. Grab another Lilligant. Three energies. I would love to do extra damage. Goodbye, Chime Pal. Okay, so taking away Bax, or Chine Pal takes away the majority of their, like, hit. Right? The majority of their, like, power. Oh! Sip for chat. For sheep, if y'all have a beverage, please take a sip. Okay, so this is kind of what I was thinking their backup plan was going to be. They're going to power up this Greninja and try to do 90 damage to two Pokemon. Now, 90 damage isn't going to knock anything we have out. It's going to hurt Pavilion, but it's not a huge deal. Another Chine Pow is a little nerve-wracking. Um, but if they do that, they can't knock out this Lilligant. Not with the... Well, I guess they get to have two more. Maybe? 
Maybe. It kind of depends how much energy they got, right? I want to buy a tap and die and some WD-40. <laughs> One of the reasons I like doing that voice is the chips rolls rise when I do that voice too much at home. Giggles, but, you know. Okay. Scary. Scary. So this might be the end here. This might destroy our little again. If they can get... Oh, that's a lot of energy they have to get. And then we get to put a Squawkabilly out front, power up another one, and be ready to take out another Chine Pow. So... I don't really know how this is going to play out. We are ahead. That's notable. So... And this... The other deck we're going to be playing today is a... I, I wanted to make a Backscalibur deck that doesn't use Chine Pow because constantly having to discard your energy does come at a cost. And... Okay, they have another superior energy retrieval. Okay. Okay. Their hand is six energy cards right now. And they're going to use all of them to take out our Lilligan here. Yeah, this this is... Uh, opponents going all in. They are charging the laser. Five. Interesting. See? We have to do all five, though. There's all of their... Okay, so now the Bibarel's actually not so bad anymore. Turning through their deck really hard. And that is through two of their superior energy retrievals, so that's good for us. Yeah, we're going to save our boss's orders for some shenanigans later. For now, we're just going to motivate. Motivate! Motivate! <laughs> you got it, babe. Good luck with your pulse. Can they do that again, right? Like, they can get two more water energy. How many are they through? They're through five. They probably have one in hand. Got two more. Gators Park, if they want to retreat. If they want to retreat, that's fine with us. Okay. I mean, I will say, Chine Pao's fun, all right? Like... It's fun to play all your energies in one turn and then just discard them and do a bunch of damage. Like, I get it. I just don't think it's as good as it could be. Okay. I don't know it's fine. Because we're probably going to have an energy in four cards. Or a way to get one. Hey, look, a way to get one. And this is actually really nice for us uh, because we can actually just retreat Squawk Ability, put that energy in our hand, and then use the worker to take care of that. So we'll see if that if it comes to that. I don't know if this Squawk Ability is going to survive the turn for that. Looking like it might, though. What are you going to sacrifice to to the Lilligant opponent? For a ninja, you say? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't knock out anything we have, though. A lot of damage for sure, but fine. Can I have a boss's orders? Oh, thanks, Dad. I appreciate you. Uh, okay, so do we go for the Backscalibur or do we go for the Chine Pow? I feel like... I feel like the Backscalibur is a safer bet, but the Chine Pow in response could do 120, 180, 180 plus 90 is 27. So the Chine Pow, we're going to go after the Chine Pow because it's the one that's actually a problem here. Thanks for the skater spark component. I appreciate you. Come here, Chine Pal. Quick question. Does this hurt? 
Gotcha! Yeah, yeah, you did, I see. I would love to do a little extra damage, thank you. And taking out the Chine Pao really limits how much energy they're going to be able to draw. Like, they still have Baxcalibur. They can still knock out our Vavillion if they want here. But... Okay, is it another Chine Pao? Probably another Chine Pao. Maybe they're getting kind of low on cards here. Okay, Palkia. Okay, so Palkia is going to let them get... Well, if they could evolve it, it would let them get energies from their bin. I don't know if they're going to be able to evolve it. They can't do it this turn. Unlikely, but possible that we hit another boss's orders. The skater park is for public use. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Bro, anybody can skate here. Get this bird to a flip. Hmm. <laughs> Are we done with the Skaters Park opponent? Is that is that going away? I guess we learned our lesson. Okay. So. Hmm. I was going to use the worker. Now I think we're going to do is play this out. Uh, none. Okay, so we are, we're not going to use the Professor's Research this turn. We're going to use the Worker. Bad news is this Palkia, when it evolves, is going to be a lot of damage. Good news is we don't actually have to discard the energy. Play an energy this turn? We did. We had to put it down on that. Whoops. In that case, we're going to put it back in our hand. We don't lose it if they knock it out. Anticipated. A lot of cards. Nice! I mean, if they're good pulls, they're good pulls, right? Even if they're just okay pulls, that's still, you know, good pulls. Okay. Problematic. I think they got us, y'all, because we have a, a bit of an insurmountable thing to cross here. Now, we do have a way to cheese this, hopefully. Uh, that's not it, but, you know. So let's evolve this one. This energy here. We just need to get really lucky. That's all. If we can get really lucky, we'll be okay. If we get really lucky, and we hit a heads here... Paralyze it. Okay, now we need them to not have a switch. And guess what? I get another turn. And that brings this to 230 being uh, lethal damage to the Palkia, which is very nice.
No switch, please. No switch, please. No switch, please. Paralyzed. We still have another Gardenia in our deck, right? We do. Okay. That would be lovely if we drew that right now. If we drew that right now. Yeah, we win. Nah, 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 nah. Never forget, chat, it all came down to a coin flip. I would love to do extra damage and win the game. Bring I did not feed the dog. Full art floor got to feel real common. We have pulled a lot of those. Oh, what a game. What a game. That was... Okay. It came down to a coin flip, but that was pretty impressive. I gotta say, not me, our deck that I built, but mostly the deck that I built. Hmm. Alright, let's do one more with this and then switch over to the other deck for the day. These have been some good games with the Villigan deck, though, I gotta say. We find another grass deck that doesn't suck? Yay! Alright, alright. Having fun is all that matters. Some circles. <gasps> Growlithe coin, look at it! Sweet. I agree, opponent. I think that's a great decision. Okay, well, you know, we'll get a basic Pokemon next time. Okay. Actually, a pretty solid starting hand, uh, despite not having the squawk ability, because we're gonna get to use Arvin to get a VIP ticket. <laughs> Look, it's a little spiel. Okay, so they're fire deck. Okay, okay. You didn't actually know that until this card. <laughs> oh, that's excellent because we're gonna escape rope. So ha 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 ha. They're gonna hate it. Nah, 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 nah. Means we're also gonna get to do twenty damage to the Bidoofus. Okay, so we're gonna start with Arvin. Grab our VIP pass. A blunder policy. Hard advantage. Grab a squawk ability. Get a bug. Here before we forget, now we escape rope. Put that back where it was. Squawk ability you can come out front. Here. Squawk and seize. Okay. That there. Motivate. Damage. Energy. These first turns with this deck feel so explosive. Like, just like hit the ground and go. I am pleased. I am also really glad we went ahead and made them put that back. Also, I just realized we're playing a fire deck and we're playing with a grass deck. Uh oh! Can I have either an... I really just need a boss's orders deck. Mm. Never, never doubted it. Never questioned it. Just knew we were going to be fine. You know, just from the start. Um... So let's grab that because we need it. 
Or no, 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 no. Ooh, that was almost close. That was almost very bad. We need that. <laughs> almost messed that up. Now we use this ability. Our perfume. We're going to grab... Pavilion. Let's grab another... Grab another one of those, those, and then two energies. I don't think it's going to come to that, but you never know. Treat, because we can save our energy that way, or save our switch in case we need that later. Put that out front. Evolve that. Boss's orders that. Mess it up. I mean, what you got, opponent? What you got, buddy? Your turn. Yeah, dang. Uh, the dishwasher's actually clean, my love. I just didn't get a chance to empty the whole thing out. I only emptied out the plates. Sorry. Okay. The pop up, the pop up. All right. Uh, so final thoughts. This deck was really powerful. I didn't expect it because I haven't seen this Lilligant card very much. If you can play around, like this is a downside for sure, but you can make it an upside by like we were doing. Like, okay, well, we it might die, so we're gonna take that energy, so we're not at a loss. Star Perfume is incredibly powerful. It just kind of makes you have to play a grass deck. Uh, Pavilion, Clutch, the fact that they do exactly 280 damage together was nice at that one point. Um, I gotta say, the only thing I might change, another Gardenia might be worth it here. Because two energies to something on the bench can fully power up a Pavilion or it can get a Lilligant mostly ready to go. Um, so yeah, uh, I gotta say, happy with how that turned out.